these countries are innocent bystanders of the greatest global crisis in a century, quite potentially. We are making sacrifices every day in choosing sustainability and resilience over the cheap and easy. And we believe that we need the global support and cooperation in this respect. Most of the world decries global warming, but too many slink away when it comes to making their sacrifices. We therefore join the call today for debt relief to be extended beyond the public to the private sector and beyond the poorest to middle-income countries, highly vulnerable to pandemics and to the climate crisis. The proposal presented here is anchored on three core principles. It supports debt relief, not just debt suspension. It calls for participation of public and private creditors both. It calls for a debt relief that underscores governments align their policies and budgets to implement 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement. Clearly, we are not only facing a debt crisis, but we're also already in a climate crisis. And climate scientists have been very clear. This is our last chance to avoid catastrophic global warming. We have around a decade left to massively scale up investment in mitigation, uh, but also we need huge amounts into adaptation to increase the resilience to the impacts of climate change that we will be seeing in the future. I also would like to highlight that a green recovery makes imminent economic sense. There is now mounting evidence that shows that green projects can generate more employment and deliver higher short-term returns per dollar spent compared to conventional fiscal stimulus. This time is different and it should be treated differently and therefore we shouldn't have the same fears. The more time we lose in this process and procrastinate, the bigger the, uh, the fallout will be, the bigger the crisis will be in those countries, social and economic, but also uh, the deeper the ha eventual haircut will have to be. Um, therefore, you know, not waiting, but doing the inevitable sooner rather than later really is a win-win situation. Unprecedented times require unprecedented responses. Not responses boxed in by habit or past precedents or fear of making mistakes or indeed fear of the unknown. Be bold and be ready to change course if the facts require it. Relieving the debts of the poor and releasing the money to address climate change, we can start to change our world. Indeed, it is solving one of the greatest injustices of our time, the injuries and pain caused by unpayable debts, that we make possible one of the greatest advances of our time, the achievement of what are rightly called the Sustainable Development Goals.